Super Minds. Hello, kids. Today we're going on a journey through time to learn about the evolution of computers. Thousands of years ago, people didn't have computers, but they had something similar called an abacus. It was a tool used to help them count and do math. An abacus has beads that you can move around to add or subtract numbers, kind of like using your fingers to count. In the 1800s, a man named Charles Babbage thought of making a thinking machine. He called it the analytical engine. It was like a super smart calculator designed to solve any math problem. This machine was the great great grandfather of the modern computer. Fast forward to the 20th century, and the first modern computers were built. They were huge, so big they could fill up an entire room. These computers helped people solve important problems and even helped astronauts travel space. Then came the personal computer which you might find in homes and schools. Unlike the giant early computers, these are small enough to fit on a desk. And guess what? Computers even got better when we connected them all together using something called the internet. It lets us share information and talk to people all over the world. Today, we have computers that can fit in our pockets like smartphones and tablets. We can use them to play games, learn new things, and talk to friends. Computers sure have changed a lot, haven't they? From big room-sized machines to tiny pocket gadgets. If you had fun today, give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure.